What's up Madden fans? Today guys we're bringing you another tutorial and, and today's uh, guide is going to be talking a little bit uh, outside of the box. We're going to talk about how you can adjust to your uh, opponent on defense. Now I think that this is one of the most important uh, excuse me, uh, videos we can ever give you um, because this is ultimately something that you're going to have to be able to do at, at any level of Madden, especially, you know, once you start getting, you know, really, really good. Now, we're going to take a sample blitz that I gave you guys out of the nickel 335 formation. Now, the nickel 335 formation, we talked about it uh, a couple of weeks ago. We presented to you some plays, we gave you some concepts, and we hope, uh, my hope is that you guys have been having success with that scheme. Um, if you haven't, let me know and I'll try to tweak it a little bit for you. We're actually going to be bringing out another nickel 335 uh, defense. But the play we're going to be focusing on is our zone blitz out of here, the loop crash 2. Now the setup for the loop crash too in the video was we base aligned, we shifted our defensive line to the right, crashed our defensive line down, and we contained both defensive ends. Okay, and this was a cover two blitz. So you see this works really well, and we're going to be able to get the pressure up the ed off the edge of the quarterback. Okay, so well done, you got pressure. Now what I want to teach you in today's video is how to adapt your play to your opponent. Okay, so a popular play out of the spread formation is the shotgun spread for verticals. And and what you might start seeing out of this is something like this. So that where this defense is weak is the seams. Okay. Especially if you're using one of the middle linebackers. So here you'll see I'm gonna see okay it's cover two. I'm gonna just pass lead outside of Calvin Johnson and crush you. And some of you might be experiencing these type of problems with your defense because all I'm giving you is setups for plays. I'm not telling you, you know, that you can adjust here and there. And so that's what kind of the point of this video is. And I hope that you take this video and run with it because you can do so many things in this game. That's all stemming from a basic point, okay? So the thing that you have to do to make this play work. That's what you need to focus on. So I know that to, in order to make this play work properly, I have to base a line, shift my line to the right, crash my line down, contain both the ends. That's all I have to do. Okay, so I get that in. Now I have, you know, maybe four or five seconds to, to adjust this to beat my opponent. Okay, so maybe I do something like this. Maybe I hook zone both corners and call cushion coverage. Now all of a sudden, if my opponent tries to, you know, throw um, throw those four verticals, if I can get the hot route off here, but now they try to throw those four verticals, and now I've got a guy in the area, and we adjust, and we get an interception. So that's one way you adjust to your opponent. You change the coverage behind it by hot routing. Okay. Another thing that you can do as a you know is okay. I say okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to set my blitz up. So I baseline shift my line to the right, and then I contain both the ends. Okay, I do that every single time I come out in this formation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive because he's throwing like corner routes and stuff like that. So I'm going to drop these safeties and curl flat zones and drop one deep blue over the top. Now in this situation, you'll see that I'm going to be able to stop this out route. Typically, I mean, obviously, you know, sometimes you get those weird, spectacular catch animations that there's really nothing you could do anything about. But typically, when I drop these safeties here into flats, you'll see that I'm able to stop this little five-yard out route, or at least contain it, okay? And the idea is, now I'm taking advantage of it. Now I'm in a situation where I want to stop the underneath. So the whole premise hasn't changed. It's they run a specific route or there's a specific type of pattern that I know they want to target. So, for example, offenses will attack different areas of the field depending on what hash they're on, depending on what uh, si you know uh, what the score is, depending on uh, you know what down and distance it is. If it's fourth and two, typically they'll go short. If it's first and ten, they may go maybe four verticals or something like that. So just keep all that in your mind when you're thinking and when you're using these schemes that I'm giving you. Because I think that it's essential to note that you don't always have to only run a cover two version of the loop crash two. You saw earlier we turned the cover two version into uh, you know what most would call a cover four version. Okay, so say me now we yellow everybody in the secondary, cushion coverage, and drop the middle linebacker into the hook zone. 
Now all of a sudden we have you know a, you know more deep coverage than underneath coverage, whereas before we had more underneath than we had deep. It's all it's all about what you want to take away. Use the setup, but then adjust out of it to stop your opponent. Different things stop different things. It's up to you to learn how to stop it. But obviously, if they're if if, if I'm getting beat, if I'm getting beat by them calling like a four verticals, then I'm not just gonna sit in a cover two. You know, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna say, okay, I'll drop a I'll drop the deep blue here, and I'll I'll maybe use her the middle, and you know maybe I'll take these guys on this outside. Maybe I'll man them up to get some one on one matchups. Now all of a sudden. It's a completely different ball game, and now we're getting picks, and that's how you adjust. But you have to be able to adjust, guys. It's so essential to actually getting stops this year on defense. Take away the routes your opponent's going to. If your opponent's throwing a deep route, don't put flat zones on the field. If your opponent's only going short, then don't have as many deep blues on the field. It's all conceptual teaching, but I hope that it actually makes a difference in your game and you guys can see what I'm getting at where you take away your opponent, what your opponent's actually doing or what you think your opponent's going to do based off the information you've gained from your, this game and from several other games. Most opponents don't throw deep on fourth and two, so I'm probably going to have fewer deep blue zones on fourth and two. Hopefully you see what I'm getting at here. If you guys got what I'm saying and you actually uh, kind of think that it was helpful, then you might consider sharing this video on Twitter and Facebook. Also, guys, I am trying to build up my Facebook following. And so the first, after I reach 100 likes on my Facebook page, which you can find that in the description of this video, after I reach 100 likes on that, then I'm going to be giving away my 99 overall Barry Sanders card in Madden Ultimate Team. Hopefully you guys can use that card and I could really use the support on Facebook because I think that it's going to allow me to produce so much more content than just YouTube. So make sure you check that out and we'll talk to you guys next week.